At a village in the highlands of western Kenya, they're fighting to stop the spread of malaria. Government troops go from house to house, spraying homes with insecticide. At night, mosquitoes gather on inside walls. The poison is micro-encapsulated and should only be released when insects come into contact with it. They then carry it back to their brood, which should then perish. Officials say the insecticide isn't harmful to humans. Two hours after the spraying is done, residents can return to their homes and be protected for close to a year. African traditional clothing is also being used in the battle against malaria. Alicia Charo from the Kenyan NGO Alliance Against Malaria shows us a kanga, or wraparound skirt, designed to get women to visit the hospitals and learn about malaria. Many know little about the disease. Malaria threatens the lives of 11 million Kenyans and pregnant women are particularly at risk. So hospitals are now handing out mosquito nets and kangas for free. Half of Kenya's population is poor and medical care is usually restricted to those who can afford it. But now the message is getting out that treatment for malaria is free. For instance, this woman's five-year-old son contracted the disease. But because she brought him to the hospital right away, he's already doing better, after just three days here. He's currently the only malaria patient on the ward. Kenya has made progress in fighting malaria. The last epidemic happened a decade ago. There are still 1,000 new cases of malaria each month, but the disease is usually treatable. However, climate change is exacerbating the problem. Malaria is spreading to Kenya's highlands. Here, health workers offer advice and preventative drugs. Even at elevations of more than 2,000 meters, the nights have grown warm enough for mosquitoes to breed freely. Mosquito nets have become a must. Okay. Weather stations are being set up, and meteorologists are using modern technology to predict whether or not mosquitoes will be likely to multiply. Solomon Inzioka from the World Health Organization explains how it works. What we are trying to come up is a mathematical formula. We can take care of all these variations, including if there was mass intervention, there is a factor that would be factored in and still be able to say how much of malaria still is expected. Still, in Kenya, the percentage of people who die from malaria each year has already fallen from 16% to 3 